Alrighty folks, welcome and bienvenue, she Jeff Solo. How's it going? Just a quick one. Uh, bit of a bummer actually. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna lower it down a, a couple of notches because uh, I'm a bit upset. I got my first ever negative feedback on eBay yesterday for uh, reasons which I have no idea. Well, I do know why, but uh, basically, I sold this to, I sold this thing to a, to this person, and uh, I described it as not brand new. I said part of it was brand new. To be fair, one of the things I sent him was sealed in a bag. That was brand new, never used. The rest of the playset, playset, well, I've told you what it is, haven't I? I've told you, it's a playset. Uh, the rest of the playset was in good nick. Not brand new, good condition. Not brand new, which is not a lie. So, I sold it. Now, the only reason I sold it was because I've had it for a long time, uh, I've had it displayed, but I need, I, I, I'm running out of room, <laughs> rapido, rapido. Um, so I needed to, to shift it. And uh, I didn't get any money for it really. I mean, it was buttons, I sold it for buttons. I just wanted to shift it. And I paid more to post it than I got for it. So that shows you how I just wanted to get it. I basically wanted to go to a good, a nice person, a good collector who would look after it. Uh, and I was, I'm so wrong, but anyway, I sold this to this guy and a part of it had batteries in it and I had no idea, I didn't check, I should have checked, but I didn't. And um, he sent me a message saying, I've had to give you negative feedback. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I was just about to say, oh mate, I'm sorry about that. And uh, believe we can come to an arrangement. He'd already done it, he'd left it. He'd left it and then emailed me. It's terrible. Uh, anyway, toing and froing, he's trying to tell me I said it was brand new. I never said it was brand new the whole way through. Um, so I've reported him. I reported him the first time. I asked him to retract his feedback, which he declined. I didn't know you could do that, but you, you get like six shots a year uh, and you get one shot per transaction. So I shot it over to him, declined it. Great. Then he's come out with saying that he would accept, uh, he would alter his feedback, but he didn't because I couldn't, because I think he knew that I couldn't send it again because I'd already done it once. So that was that. Uh, so I've reported him. Uh, twice, one for that and one for the fact that he, he claims that the goods should have been brand new and they were not brand new, they were used. So, anyway, I really, really am um, upset. I don't think anything's going to happen because eBay always sides with the buyer. The sellers always get screwed. And that's a fact. And I don't care what anybody says, it's true. Um, so, you know, what can you do? Um, so yeah, I was sad. Uh, so I picked something up to off eBay <laughs> to uh, make me feel a bit better. And it, a super speedy delivery. It came today. Uh, 15 pounds I paid for it. And it is this chap. Godzilla. Six inch pop. Now I don't own any six inch pops. I've got some of the pop rides, but never any of the um, six inches. So got myself six incher. Uh, yeah, so it's Godzilla. So you got a nice graphic of Godzilla on the side there. Godzilla on the top, 239, spin the box around. We've got a sort of classic Godzilla munching a train, apparently. Uh, and then we've got him, the graphic of him there. And then on the top of the box, we've got him kind of peeking over. So that's pretty awesome. So yeah, it's quite a big beefy box for this beefy mother trucker. And here he is, looking badass. He's so cool. Uh, this kind of looks like fur. I don't know, was the original Godzilla furry? I don't know. But anyway, uh, so there he is. Looking pretty cool. Great paint apps on his teeth, on the claws. I really love the sculpt. I mean, for a Funko, it's uh, for a pop, Funko Pop, it's a really good sculpt. Really like it. On the back, love these spikes. They go all the way around the tail and onto the noggin. So that's cool. Uh, then he's got these big, big paws. So he's not going to fall over. Huh? Not like Classics Riddler. Always falling over. Ryu and Ken. Always falling over. This guy, no chance. <laughs> Unless he's in a ty typhoon? No, a cyclone. Yeah, typhoon's water in it. Well, he'd probably fall over that too. But anyway, uh, yeah, so he's pretty awesome. I really, really dig him. And he's, I've, I've, I'm going to invest in a more of these six inch ones. I, I'd really like the Holt one, but he's a bobblehead. I don't want the bobbleheads. So I'll probably just stick to these types, the ones that are not bobbleheads. His head doesn't rotate, it's static. Uh, but still a really cool piece and he'll fit lovely into the collection. I'm super stoked with him uh, Yeah, I'd definitely recommend it and they were selling him on eBay 15 quid and you know that, that's not a bad price That's posted so you know you take three three pounds out for posting it four pounds out You know 11 pound that's how much a pop usually is so 
10, 11 pounds. So yeah, a regular size pop, I mean, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So there you go, folks, five minutes, six seconds. Not bad. I'm trying to keep them quick, in and out. Uh, so you guys can get on with your lives. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I pre-ordered the Funko uh, Master Universe figures, which will be, I think they're released on the 13th of December. So Wednesday. So they should be with me by middle of next week, hopefully. But I've ordered them with uh, pop in a box. So who knows? <laughs> it's a bit of a gamble. But we'll see how we go. They were doing some sort of deal, which was just ridiculous. And I got one pop free or something. I can't remember. It was so long ago. It's 11th of November I pre-ordered them. So anyway, hopefully we'll get those soon. And I can show you them on the channel. And I'm no doubt get a few other bits and pieces just pop up now and again with a few bits that I've acquired during the week. Oh, I'll tell you what I have got coming. Some Galactic Heroes bang into those at the moment. Uh, and I've scored a few of them on eBay. So I'll give you a wee sneaky peeky at those. But until the next time, guys, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.